Good morning, Martians. Well, today I want to take a look at the new 3D printers and um, show you some stuff I discovered about it and just, you know, basics, what you um, resources you need for it and how big each one has to be for each object. And I uh, uh, wanted to share that with you. So let's go take a look. Well, let's just start with the, what they're calling the creative printer now, which was always kind of a creative printer. But they removed any delay. So if you hit create, look, it says create now, not print. Bam, it's done, ready to go. So if you want to be in creative and set up scenarios, it's a lot quicker that way. Some people kind of complained about that, but I was like, cap tui, dude, you don't have to use it if you don't like it. So yeah, that's actually a good idea for creative scenario building. Why would I want to sit there and wait for parts because people like to do it manually. I mean, you sure you can go in the editor and, and try to figure out where everything's at in that unorganized list they have in the editor. You know, right here. You can go in here and try to, okay, where is it at? Oh, God, I got to scroll through all this. Because it's not like they have a search or anything. So, you know, me being an editor person, I'm like always, and I'm not even, even though I've been doing it for quite a while, I still have to kind of remember where everything's at. Where it's categorized, and like, oh, where, where where was the plants at, you know, and you got to find stuff. So that's why the hands-on people get this InstaBuild printer. So that's what that's for. Don't use it if you don't like it. Anyway, this is the one that you get in a supply drop. So you get this one, and the only thing this thing will print is small deals. So, like, say you have one at your mining facility, you can actually, you know, print out your resource barrels. Then you got your hubs and little things like that, small containers, lab kit. But mostly it's just the small printer parts is what you're going to want to use it for right off right off the bat. You know what I mean? To build a bigger one so you could print other things. Now you're going to be stuck with these parts because they do not let you recycle them. So you, you're going to have this thing. So I will probably keep the, the original one at my mining facility just for barrels or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of how I'm going to use that. It, it's a real basic one. It comes down to supply drop or whatever. It, it, but you're limited to what you can print. You can print these pieces here mostly. So I went ahead and built a small one of these guys. And I figured what the hell. And, and as far as the materials used to print the printers, um, it would be these guys here. Iron, aluminum, silicon, and silicon oxide. Which you can make in the processor. I'm not covering the processor right now. Um, the refinery. I just wanted to take a look at these guys. So if you look inside here, and you got this little piece here that comes on and off. It's like a little panel. Like that big one on top there that you really don't use. They give you a little one so you can kind of maneuver it around. Like if I wanted it on the other side, closer to this guy. If I'm using multiple ones, you can kind of move it over here. I mean, that's probably not important, but I just wanted to point that out. So you can see it has that little, um, what you call projection in there that shows you that you can print it and it's blue it'll be red if you can't print it um if it's like too big and i'll show you that right here see all these things here so if you if you try to put something in there like that it doesn't show you the actual you know 3d projection but it does kind of light up red to let you know i think that's pretty nice you can see that one's doing it too it's got the red lights in there showing i wish it would <laughs> sometimes because you might want to know which way you have to expand your printer like, say I'm, I'm doing something that just needs to be a slightly wider. Well, that would be nice. Maybe like the new uh, Mark II backpack holder, I mean, uh, suit holder uh, for the base, you know, lays down. See, not everything, I don't know which direction everything works. I don't know if they all lay down. I know the oxygen thing does. I did that in my Let's Play. But then I couldn't print the same size piece suit holder i don't know why i mean was it not laying down it's the same size so i'm thinking it probably stood up and down that's why i couldn't print it which then i had to stop what i was doing over there and we'll look at that over here in a minute i kind of i'm curious about how things sit in there so basically this one if i go to all it'll show you and i put materials in it, aluminum iron silicon silicon oxide and you can see that you can print the big printer components plus these other little guys but mostly, uh, as far as what you need is those uh, materials I just showed you right off, right at the beginning. Um, iron, aluminum, silicon, and whatnot. Um, that seems to be what we need mostly for the first things we need. And then you scroll down, you see everything else is too big. Yeah, you're screwed. You, you, but you can print a large printer. 
So then, once you get one thrown together here, now at first I did, I wasn't this high. I just wanted to see what would happen if I had the one row of windows all the way around. You know what I mean? And I was like, holy crap, stuff can still not fit in there. Look, it's red. Let's see what we got going on over here. So I went ahead and put more materials in here because some other um, resources used nitrogen, more iron because some things will take, oh, I'll show you that here in a minute, like two barrels <laughs> to print it. So, I mean, an entire two barrels are going to be used. So if I pulled that out, it'll say you don't have enough. And even though I have two there, it'll say, no, not enough. And it'll give you the numbers. Argon for lights, you know. Uh, magnesium oxide, more aluminum, blah, blah, same stuff. I just repeated it right here, the ones I already mentioned. But if you go here to the screen, look how big this thing is. Holy crap. So now you can see, um, I don't know what I got. Oh, my God. Yeah, I highlighted uh, the manned uh, mobile laboratory. Look at this thing. Look how many. Oh, my God. Look how much iron. 650 slash 389. I'm not even... Uh, so I was like, wow, that you can do it, though, <laughs> if you build the garage big enough. Well, I'm not doing that right now. I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. That would have been cute and all that. But look, you can get the doors now. You can get the suit charger. Um, here's the oxygen one. Now, this is the one I said laid down before in the small one. See how it's laying down in here? You can see it. I was like, well, why can't I do the holder, the suit holder? And that was in my Let's Play. I was like, that's ridiculous. So let's see how let's find the suit holder. And I think it's down here. Okay, there's the oxygen. Where the hell's the suit holder? I'm sure I zipped right on past it. There it is right next to it, for crying out loud. There it is. So I'm assuming, see how this one, the icon is leaning? Then this one's standing up. Let's see what it what it does. Yeah, it's standing up, see? So that's the thing I didn't understand why they did that. Because that, that kind of messes with it. You don't know if you need to be wider, if you need to be taller. And I'm kind of getting the idea. I mean, there's a lot of room there. But, you see, it wouldn't have fit if I wouldn't have went one more high. So, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. And this has, uh, it shows you how much um, is needed per unit. So, if I'm going to print, let's say this little guy, it tells you how how much of the resources is going to be used. So, you can run quite a bit of these guys out. Um, more printer parts to expand. If you want to print another starter one for a team that's going to go off somewhere to get started, like to set up a, um, a mining area, well, you give them, give them the little guy. If you need an extra one, if somebody else is using it somewhere else. I think that's pretty neat. So this little starter guy is pretty cool, but it's a little, it's kind of expensive. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been figuring out. Um, and they don't take that long. What, what is that? I forgot what I left. Oh, that's the printer in there. Okay, so you can run your resource catch on both sides, even on the back. You just make sure that you have a power outlet, which has multiple inputs, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, they're all red, so you can have quite a bit of power. Now, I didn't look to see if um, the more power, the faster it prints or anything like that. I haven't noticed that uh, specific thing yet. But it looks like you can put quite a bit, eight freaking power sources in if you want to. It doesn't look like you could daisy chain, you know, go in here and then out here because they're all red. So I'm not really sure how that works out. But, uh, wow, that's a lot of power, and that's on one piece. So I'm thinking it probably is going to be faster the more power you got going in it or something like that. It's pretty neat. But yeah, is that is that all I can think of? I was going to show this this morning until I lost all my textures, but it sure does look good right now. And you can, uh, these little pieces here, you can extend, you know, further down if you're going to drive your vehicle out. You know what I mean? So you can, you can actually lengthen this. Now, if you don't have this one, it, it goes offline. It'll say, yeah, I don't think so. So you have to actually have the ramp piece. That on there. I guess I can leave that one there. Um, what else was there? Oh, if I if you go to print something, see how it's yellow right now, or it has that yellow lighting going on. I guess that's just the, you have the materials. It should be green, really, because you have the the resources and you have the space. But the piece is blue, so or green, blue, whatever. I just noticed that earlier. Now, if you pull out your your resources, it'll go red again, even though it'll fit. These will show up green. As a matter of fact, if I... It'll, yeah, if these are green, these little icons, that means it'll fit, but you don't have the resources. And if I yank out a couple of these, I'll show you that. Let's just take... Uh, well, what did that piece need, actually, before I start yanking everything out? Um, iron, for sure. So let's yank out all the irons just to see what it, how it changes the, the look of the icon. What is that? Argon? Is this more iron over here? Yes, it is. Thank you out of there, buddy. 
Where are you going? Look at this guy. He's trying to get away. Get him! Oh, shit. The other one rolled underneath. Sucks. Okay, now we look at it. So, it, the green <coughs> overcast here, show, overlay, whatever you want to call it, uh, says low resources on it. But it still fits. It's just you don't have the resource. So, that's, that's kind of cool. And it shows it in red. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Let's jam these back in before I lose them. I think one rolled underneath. Crap! Wilson! I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Oh, grab it. There. Wait, no, grab it. You son of a pup. I'll get that one later. Yeah, so there you go. I just kind of wanted to cover this in case you were interested. You can see how big you have to go. And I'm kind of walking around so you can see how many... I'm not going to put the numbers up. You can just freeze frame and see how many floor panels I got in there. Nine. You know what I mean? Six glass on each side. Nine on the top. That's what I have now. You make that. You're gonna. Somebody's gonna make one as big as it's needed for that damn mobile lab, which I think is the largest thing we have. And where'd that other one go? Yeah, there it is. But yeah, so I can't wait to see when you guys put one. <laughs> print the mobile lab. Lots of mining. You're gonna have to mine till the cows come home, buddy. Because you're gonna need so many resources for that. Did you see how many resources you needed for that? Let's take a quick look at that again. Because that blows my mind, man. I'm just super... Where's the airplane at, though? Damn you. Damn you. So, yeah, that's a lot of resources. A lot of iron, a lot of aluminum. But, yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys that and how awesome it is. And uh, I'm a new uh, Let's Play. I'm only going to be using, you know, the resource ones. So I probably will not be building skyscrapers. Plus, I always se seem to hit that, um, you know, the limit. Until all the textures go black. That really is disgusting. Anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Later.